SecurePrint comprises of the SecurePrint server, data server, and the Uniprint VPQ or virtual print queue. These components typically reside on the bridge and are responsible for managing secure print jobs and monitoring printer to VPAD mapping, user smart card IDs, and user authentication. On the print server, the secure print server components detects and connects VPADs or secure print emulators to the rest of the Uniprint network. The user can search for their print jobs and then authenticate to release their print jobs to a user-selected printer by using either the VPAD device or the secure print emulator. The emulator functions exactly the same way as the VPAD, it's just hosted on a PC and users have to use a mouse instead of a touchscreen to authenticate. A key benefit of secure print is that it is printer make and model agnostic and therefore does not require organizations to standardize printer fleets to a single manufacturer. Print jobs are not stored on the printers themselves, nor are they stored off-site or in the cloud. Managing printed documents becomes easier since the user is forced to enter either a PIN, tap their proximity card, or swipe their magnetic strip. As an additional benefit, aside from the added security, your organization will actually see a reduction in wasted paper since only authenticated print jobs will actually be printed. And this therefore reduces the amount of printouts being left at the printer, which is another potential security breach. In this video we'll be using the secure print emulator since it's difficult to view the actual VPAD. First we'll set up and enable the secure print emulator. Then we'll map a couple of gateway printers to the emulator. We'll set default properties for the emulator. Finally, we'll print to the Uniprint VPQ and then retrieve the print job by authenticating through the emulator. Let's go to a workstation to start up the secure print emulator. The Uniprint installation package contains a self-extracting file, secureprintemulator.exe. Run this file and extract its contents to the designated workstation. I've extracted the files to a folder on my desktop. Let's open this folder. Double click Secure Print Emulator. Double click secureprint.exe to launch the emulator. Initially, the emulator tries to connect to the closest print server that has the Secure Print print server components installed. If the IP address of the intended print server is incorrect, click Customize. To have the emulator automatically discover another print server, select Auto Discover and then select Clear Existing Connection Information and Rediscover. Or to manually enter the IP address and port number, select Connect to Server at IP colon port. But let's have it auto-discover a Uniprint print server. Select Auto-discover. And then click Apply. Click Yes to continue. The emulator is now connected to the print server, but is not enabled on the bridge. Go to the Uniprint bridge. Under Properties and Settings, click Secure Print. Right-click the emulator to enable it. And then select Enable. Let's go back to the workstation. Once the emulator is enabled on the Uniprint Management Console, it's available for entering usernames. Let's go back to the bridge to configure the emulator. Similar to the VPAD below, you can change the appearance of the emulator. Click to select the emulator that you want to configure and then click Properties. Enter a name for the emulator. Enter the location of the emulator. And then click the Settings tab. Let's scroll through the different properties. Certain properties such as Screen Brightness and Screen Saver only apply to the actual VPAD device and do not function for the emulator. Click OK to exit the VPAD properties. To add printers, click Add Printers. Click to select HP LaserJet M4345 MFP. To force users to enter a PIN when printing to this printer, click Force PIN. We can also select multiple printers by pressing the Control key and then clicking another printer. Click to select Lexmark T630. Hold down Control and then click HP LaserJet M4345 and then click OK. We can also set default settings which will be applied to all VPADs and emulators. Click Default Settings. Some settings can be set as default and others will need to be set on an individual VPAD or emulator basis. 
Let's scroll through the default settings. Let's set require VPAD pin to yes. And let's set require VPQ pin to yes. This will force all users sending a print job to the Uniprint VPQ to set a pin. And then click OK. Certain properties can also be changed directly on the emulator or VPAD. Let's go back to the emulator on the workstation. Click Settings. Anyone using the emulator or VPAD can change the settings. So we recommend disabling the Settings button on the actual emulator or VPAD. Let's go back to the bridge. To disable the Settings button, click to select the emulator. And then click Properties. Click the Settings tab. And then set the Show Settings on VPAD Devices property to No. Click OK to save our changes. Let's go back to the workstation. The Settings button is no longer visible, and the emulator is protected from inadvertent property changes. Let's go back to the bridge to do some more configuration. We can also import a list of usernames and the corresponding smart card ID numbers into the Secure Print Data Server. From the View list, select Users slash Cards. Before importing this list, you'll first have to create it. I've already created a list called SecurePrintUser.txt. Let's open this file. This file can be created using Notepad or a spreadsheet program similar to Excel and contains the Windows username, separated by a comma, and then the smart card number. If users are from different domains, you can also include the domain names. Let's close this file and then import it into SecurePrint. Click Import Users, and then click Browse to locate the file. Click to select the file SecurePrintUsers.txt, and then click Open. Click Next. Select the delimiter used to separate the data fields in the file, and then click Next. Map the columns to the appropriate data fields. In this case, since all the users are from the same domain, we can create a constant. From the user domain list, select Constant, and then enter the domain name. From the user ID list, select A. Column A must be highlighted in order for the import to work properly. From the card ID list, select B, and then click Next. Click Finish. All of these users are now registered in the SecurePrint data server and can now swipe or tap their smart cards to access the emulator or VPAD. Now let's go back to the workstation to start an RDP session. Double click Remote Desktop Connection. Enter the IP address of the application server and then click Connect. Let's open a Word document, double-click lorem-ipsum.doc, and then print it. Ensure that the Uniprint VPQ is selected. To set a secure print pin, click Printer Properties. Click the Secure Print tab. Normally you would select Enable Secure Print, but since we set Require VPQ Pin in the default settings, this isn't necessary. Click Cancel. Click Print. The Force Pin and the Require VPQ or VPAD Pin options launch this dialog box. This is where you can enter a pin for your print job. Enter a four digit pin. Enter the pin again to confirm. To keep this pin persistent between sessions, select Remember My Pin. Click OK to clear the warning. And then click OK again. Let's minimize the session window so that we can see the emulator. Enter the username J Gibbs. Click J Gibbs. Select the document to print. If you selected a gateway printer instead of the Uniprint VPQ, you could then click either Print Direct, which outputs your document directly to the printer, or Print, where you can redirect the print job to a different printer. However, with the Uniprint VPQ, we'll need to select a gateway printer, so click Print. Enter the four-digit PIN. And then click OK. Click to select a printer. Let's click HP LaserJet M4345 MFP. 
To change the paper tray, click Paper Source. Automatically select is fine. Click Cancel. To apply a printer profile, click Profile. Click to select a profile. Let's select double-sided and stapled. Click Apply. The paper source and profile chosen will be shown. Click Print. Once printed, the print job will be removed from the queue. The emulator not only works for the Uniprint VPQ, but it also works for gateway printers. Let's go back to our RDP session. Now let's print to a gateway printer. Select a gateway printer. Gateway printers are indicated by hash numbers. Let's select HP LaserJet M4345 MFP. To set a pin, click Printer Properties. The user needs to do this if the administrator did not select Force Pin on the Uniprint bridge. Click the Secure Print tab. Since Remember My Pin was selected previously, Secure Print is already enabled and the pin is already populated. Click OK. Click Print. Let's minimize the session window so that we can see the emulator again. Enter in the username J Gibbs. Click J Gibbs. Select the print job. We can either print directly to the HP printer, or if we want to select a different printer, change the paper source, or select a different printer profile, then click Print. However, since we don't want to change anything, let's click Print Direct. Enter the four-digit PIN. Click OK. Again, the print job is removed from the queue, and the print job will be printed directly to the HP printer. Let's go back to our session. If you want to clear your PIN, right-click the Uniprint icon in the notification area, and then select Clear Saved Secure PIN. Click Yes to confirm that you really want to delete your PIN. As you can see, Secure Print is easy to set up and use. Since this is a video demo, we've only used a PIN, However, the solution does support smart cards and proximity key fobs. Users can authenticate using a smart card and a PIN, or SecurePrint can be configured such that only a smart card is required to release print jobs. Thank you for watching this short video. For more information on SecurePrint, feel free to browse our forum or contact us at support at uniprint.net.